Greetings, everybody. I'm not going to be online for much longer, just so you know. I'm uh, planning on doing some things. But this uh, is Bible study is going to be on curses. Are they generational? Uh, there are some people that came out of witchcraft and they say that there's generational curses. Is that biblical? Well, let's take a look from the Bible. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20. Now, this is where Moses was given the Ten Commandments. It's not the Ten Suggestions. So, Exodus chapter ten, uh, 20, verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You know, the uh, Vatican, at various times the Greek Orthodox Church, as well as many people that consider themselves Protestants and Evangelicals, um, they love to have pictures depicting angels and Jesus. Uh, I mean, didn't we just read, Thou shalt not, 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 thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image? or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Pretty simple, huh? That's why I'm not crazy about pictures that depict, supposedly depict Jesus. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity. If you don't know what iniquity is, that's sin. That's doing things that God hates. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Now, why is God going to visit the iniquity or the sin of the fathers upon the children under the third and fourth generation? Well, could it be that the parents teach the children and the grandchildren to do things that God hates? So, why the third and fourth generation? Is it generational? I don't know. There, that's one witness. However, that's the bad news. Here's the good news. And show, Verse 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Hmm. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Interesting. Is there a second witness? How about Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 9? Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. I just got a notification on my channel today that the word hate in the King James Bible actually means to love less. So when, the, when the, the, you know, the Bible says that the Lord hates those um, that shed innocent blood, I guess that means he loves murderers less than he loves righteous people, right? Uh, according to the, you know, psalm. Numbers 14, 18. The Lord is long-suffering. That means he allows things for a long time. 
The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy. Amen to that. Otherwise, I'd have been dead a long time ago. The Lord is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. 